Hello, where are you? Yes, sir, Robert. It's the Herx and Harry Show, and I'm Herx. And I'm Harry. My partner, Harry Lyons, is the noted Honolulu advertiser, cartoonist, and bon vivant. And my partner, Bob Herkes, is the editor and publisher of the Billfish Bull and a noted saloon keeper. And the whole can of worms is brought to you by those magnificent men and their flying machine. Bob, that's right. That's why we've hired at great expense is a 101-piece Royal Hawaiian Band to play those magnificent men and their flying machines. To remind you that Johnny Peacock and his crew down at Royal Hawaiian Air Service are indeed that, magnificent men in their flying machines. They've got beautiful new up-to-date equipment in Cessna 310s, very experienced pilots, and they're very knowledgeable about all the islands. They can make the tightest element turns, beautiful loop-de-loops, and they've, they're real, da- real daredevil. Down, upside down. No, we're only kidding, though. They are wonderful pilots, and they've got very flexible schedules at moderate prices. And that's why tourists and Kamaainas alike like to fly with those magnificent men in their flying machines, the Royal Hawaiian Air Service. And Bob, to get in touch with them, anybody can just call 259-775. And they may again get in touch with us. And of course, it's also brought to you by Inner Island Resorts, owners and operators of the Konaan, the Kauai Surf, the Naniloa, and the Kuala Lumpur Biltmore. Right. Well, Harry, what do you think? We uh, talk about a little fishing today for a change? Yeah, Bob, you know, after a comparatively slow start, today was a wonderful day, and uh, why don't you, uh, we're uh, taping this just uh, before the actual close of fishing, but I think we've got most of the news. Why don't you give it to the folks? Yeah, it's, this is going to be a tight one, and it may be several, several hours before we know who the winners are. Uh, let me give you a rundown on some of the fish. Team number 14's got one estimated 175 pounds. Team number 10's got one estimated 130 pounds. Team number 40. 41, that's Bowman, uh, Bowman from Hilo, estimated at 550 pounds. Now, after he got the boat on board, or uh, up to up to the stern, he couldn't get it on board because his boat's too small. He couldn't restart his engines, and so we had a little problem out there, and I think somebody has got his boat or his uh, fish on board, and they're uh, trying to get them towed in. Team number 69's got one on, 200 pounds estimated. Team number 12, 150 pounds, lots of fish. Team number 19, that's my old friend, uh, uh, Rep Logal, who caught one today, uh, estimated 180 pounds on 50-pound test line. That'll uh, give him 360 points. And remember, he had one disqualified, which uh, makes that disqualification uh, really hurt Tom, old baby, I guess. That's right. Team number 33, 130-pounder. Team number 39, a fish uh, estimated 175 pounds on 50-pound test. There's another good one. Team number 71, this this is the one that may walk off with all the marbles. That's uh, They've got one on board estimated between 7, 750 in that area. And, of course, if that gives them the uh, the biggest fish of the day and the tournament, that'll uh, give them over or up 900 well, points. Well, you can figure about 900 points. And they also, Bob, uh, caught a fish earlier in the week. Uh, I believe it was about 203 pounds. So that would give them, uh, we're just guessing, but in the neighborhood of at least 1,100 points. That's a lot of points in any tournament. And the uh, team number 71 is the West Palm Beach Fishing Club out of Florida. And the uh, team members are James Kimberly and Walter Brooks. Uh, incidentally, the angler on what we asked, uh, Kimberly was the angler on uh, both uh, this big one today and the one earlier this week. And also, uh, we have a story, a little story to tell you later on. He had another fish on the line and, and lost it, but that's another story. Maybe, maybe a boo boo boo? Maybe so. <laughs> And uh, an interesting story is team number 72. There's a young fellow here that, uh, by the name of Bob Crawford, who I believe is 16 years old. He got a 40-pound marlin day, a giant marlin for the young man. That, to the best of my knowledge, is the smallest marlin, the youngest angler ever to tie up together here in this tournament. That's great because they have a very good-looking trophy for that one. Oh, good. I'm sure it'll be a real thrill for the young fellow. Now, Freddie Rice is hooked up. Oh, Freddie still may come through and uh, wrap the thing up if he gets one in the... Uh, in the 400 pound class uh, because he's leading it uh, as of this morning and uh, how big is ones he need he needs a he needs uh, well if, if our estimates on the other and we're just guessing on that real big one uh, the seven to eight hundred pounder freddie would if it, if this big one comes in at 700 pounds uh, freddie would need 350 pound marlin they'd start with 760 points so so freddie's still in there the local boys still got a chance uh 10 marlin a day and they're two hooked up, as I uh, as I recall, as of the time we went on the air, Harry. Right. I wanted to make one correction, Bob. When you started, I believe you said that team number 14 came in with a 175-pounder. That was team number four. That should be team number four. That's right. That's um, Mickey Dungate. That's Mickey uh, Dungate. That's right. They've had points uh, earlier in the tournament. 
Mickey uh, fished with uh, last year with the Duke of Manchester, as I recall, and this year he's fishing uh, All Moana Sportsman Club team number three, uh, captained by John Field. Well, it's uh, it's a great close to the tournament. I don't know what time it's gonna gonna get wrapped up, but uh, it always seems to happen on the last day here, and we come on the air and try to uh, give the folks a serious fishing report that this is what happens to us. That's right. That's what happens when we try to be serious. We get all fouled up. That's absolutely right. Uh, no ahi today. I, where were they hiding? I don't know, but there are plenty of marlins. So, Harry, you were out fishing today. Yes. Tell us about your fantastic feet. We, uh, <laughs> it's the most action I've ever seen on the press boat, and all the time I've been out. I understand, we the, a I understand the press boat came back loaded. We had a triple strike, I want you to know, and they were all little tiny fish. Two guys, the other two, two they said, scans on the beer bottle. The other two, they said, were too, they were so small, we would have had to throw them back anyway. And we brought in a little aku that was, uh, who brought that in? Frank Nibley uh, caught it. A giant aku. A giant aku, which must have gone, I don't know, a few pounds. And we put that in for live bait and used that, and we never did anything. The closest we got to any action, and it was really quite thrilling, we managed to uh, fish right in between um, uh, this Kimberly, who was fishing with Rope Nelson, while he was battling that huge 7 to 800 pounder, and Dan O'Neill. Dangerous, dangerous Dan O'Neill. Another boat, although I'm not, I don't think it was Dan. I think it was his partner, Tony, uh, Tony, Duba. Tony Duba, who was at the, on the fish, actually. And they had a very big one and fought it from uh, the middle of the 12 o'clock roundup till I think about 2.30. So they were on over two hours, and then they finally lost that fish. But we saw the big one jumping, and he was a monster. It was a Harry, fish. Uh, I noticed one thing, that uh, the guests that we've had on our show all week uh, haven't really done too well, have they? Huh? No, I guess that's right. Like, we've, none of them have caught a fish. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> right. It's the Hurricane Hurricane. Hurry Joe, yeah, we score again. I'm not sure that anybody's going to ever volunteer to appear on this thing again. Eh? Well, Bob, I know, speaking of guests, we have a very interesting fellow tonight uh, uh, to talk to, and uh, maybe you could introduce him. Tonight, our guest is uh, Marty Franich, who's uh, fishing on team number 50. He's captain of the team from the Bajaro Valley uh, Fishing Club. He's a member of the Board of Governors of the uh, Hawaiian National Billfish Tournament, uh, and he represents Northern California. And it uh, really is a pleasure to bring Marty to the Herx and Harry microphone tonight. Take it away, Harry Lyon. Well, Marty, uh, I uh, we are not old friends exactly. We met last year, I think, for the first time. And you've been with the tournament uh, how long? Five years. Five years. And uh, as a member of the board, do you, you uh, represent Northern California? What does that mean exactly? Do you? Uh, I help Pete Fithian and the gang in Honolulu. I communicate with the teams and try to pair them up and anything else where help is needed. How has your luck been uh, as a fisherman? Well, I have fished so five years. I have fished 24 straight times, and our team has not caught a fish. That's why you're on the Herx. But we still, <laughs> we still love it. Good. <laughs> oh, that's great. How, how would you compare the fishing here? I assume that you do quite a bit of it in California. Uh, what do you fish for there mainly? Not so much California. I fish a lot off of Mazalan, Mexico, and I've caught a lot of fish there. They're sailfish. The fishing is altogether different. You get a lot of fish. They don't fight very long, but I think that here it's more interesting because the fish are bigger, they're rare, but this tournament can't be beat. How did you ever get uh, started in this tournament, uh, Marty, and then end up as a member of the board? Well, a teammate that isn't here now, a family by the name of Chamberlain, they started five years ago. This year they didn't come over, but uh, as I say, five years we've been with it. Very good, and you expect to come back next yes, year? Yes, sir. God willing, we'll be back next year. Very good. Uh, May I say something about what is fun on these tournaments? Sure. A couple of days ago, I was on the boat. We were on the boat to Goodbye Charlie. That boat is owned by Dick Boone, right. famous actor. Right. Dick went out with us. He brought the tea leaves. He did everything. He tried real hard. We didn't get a fish, but it was fun being with him. Mm -hmm. He told my son that on the last day he should bring some ram's horns, Stephen, Stephen Franich. He came out today, went out you know, uh, up to 4 o'clock. They hadn't caught anything, but they were still trying. These are the little facets and the sidelights that make it fun. There, there's another problem. We had the uh, captain of the skipper of the Alcocker on board. Maybe that or on our show uh, two nights ago. Dave Nottie, Dave Nottie. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's He's a very fine fisherman. Yes, he well, hasn't caught anything either, I don't think. <laughs> we, uh, we we've had, really, we've had Nottage, we've had, uh, he hasn't caught anything, we've had George Wooler, who's a great, world-renowned fisherman. Tremendous fellow. And, has, and a wonderful guy, and he hasn't had any luck, and... Uh, it was appropriate that we had Marty today, because, uh, well, he hasn't had any luck. You know, the only... It success, carries on. The only successful one we've had is Paul Kendall, <laughs> That's who, right. uh, while he was going down the Captain Cook cruise or something, he caught... Uh, an owner or something, didn't he? Yeah, he hates fishing. <laughs> he hates fishing. Yeah. <laughs> well, As I keep saying, it's great being here. Good. Great being in Coma. Well, I think tomorrow, uh, Harry, you and I are going to go fish with uh, Charlie Yamamoto 
And I think we're going to catch some giant-sized world record Aku or something. You know? I don't know what time he's going out, but I'm not sure I can make that. i got to do that drawing, and we've got to get the uh, paper out. Oh, that's right. Our, uh, Harry and Bob, may I say something? I think we have 12 California teams, which is pretty good. And I think a lot of them caught fish. Walnut Creek. That's uh, right. Oh, Berkeley, I talked to two men. And, uh, uh, Gardner. From Berkeley to come. And the first two days, they each caught a fish. It's always routine. Uh, Southern California, some of them have caught fish. The Hogs. What about Balboa. Was. Woody Woods. Yes. And his wife got that world's record uh, fishing pole that she caught. She, uh, she California's done pretty well. We can't complain. Good. Well, that's. Uh, I think that speaks well, well for you, from Marty. California. Isn't that great? Huh? It speaks well for Marty, and I think, and, and I'm sure you had a lot to do with the number of them getting here. And uh, I, I know that uh, speaking of, of uh, teams outside of the Hawaiian teams, California, of course, is well represented. They're hoping, I know, to get a team from Japan next year. That there's been quite a bit of talk about that. There's, an, I think, an observer here. There is an observer. Oh, well, that would that really would be interesting. Be great. Yeah. Um, how many uh, board meetings do you, uh, do you make a year? Uh, I guess most of your work for the tournament's done through Is the California. I did get over here in January. We met here at the uh, King Cam, and I enjoyed that. And God willing, if they meet next January, we'll come back. It is a little unhandy to, to go all, to come all yeah. the way to the islands, but uh, try to make it once a year. I wish you'd said Kona Inn there, one of our sponsors, but then, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> well, we meet, I think we change, don't we? <laughs> that's right. Next year you'll be back here in, uh, here in Kona Inn. How's the, uh, the well, who have you been out with, charter boats? Uh, went out, of course, with uh, Dick Boone's boat, the Akaka today, the Kalama. Oh, gosh, it's Jack remember. Ross's boat, isn't it? The That's right. Right. Uh, pretty good fishermen. Well, they're all good fishermen. How was the... Uh, with the, Judy Ann. Do you see much fish, much bait? Much well, I don't, the but the skippers seem to see something every once in a while. Uh, we did have some strikes. You know, it was very interesting today, Bob, uh, speaking of bait fish that... Uh, we got up uh, north a little bit. I don't know exactly where it was, and we saw more birds. And up here, uh, Kia Holy Light. Yeah, I, that's. I guess we were just opposite that, and uh, they, there must have been. I would judge at least a dozen boats right, very close together. They were all up there, you know, trying to get marlin grubbins, right? And that's all we managed to catch. See all the scientific information we got. Well, I don't think George Parker in the Monet just caught a fish, and he's a tremendous fish, one of the oldest here. I don't right. think he has caught a fish. Well, I'll tell you another guy, Charlie Almodo. I don't think he's ever got a marlin in the in the tournament. And Charlie's a fine Well, fisherman. you know, and also we kid a lot about the press boat, but they've got a good boat and a good skipper and a good crew, the, uh, Bruce Carter, and they've caught a lot of fish. We kid a lot about it, but they've caught a lot of fish, and they seem to catch them right before the tournament or something. And right after. And right after, but uh, they had, Butch Chi was with us today, of course, and, uh, you know. They've been kidding. trying to get one for Ed Neal for three years. Remember, uh, three years ago he got the Rubber Hook sure Award when he lost that one right at Gap. Right. Ed loves this here, too. Ed never misses a day out in the prison. You know, there's a 2,000 pound fish out there for somebody, someplace. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Well, I think maybe uh, maybe I'll get it tomorrow. Many right. fishermen can tell me. Surprise, sir. Hey, do we have a hero? Yes. Oh, well, let's hear it for the Herx and Harry Hero of the Day. Right. And the Herx and Harry Hero of the Day today is uh, actually, we're kidding a little bit about this one, but we thought uh, he wouldn't mind a bit because he ended up real well. It was Rope Nelson and. Uh, he uh, gets the Hero of the Day award because uh, after fighting a fish for quite a long time, uh, this was Kimberly, incidentally, again, the guy who caught the big one later on in the day, the eight, seven to 800 pounder, got it all the way up to uh, Gaff, and uh, in fact, we heard Rope describing this himself, and uh, he was kind of ruefully chuckling over it. Uh, they brought him to Gaff, the fish gave one big leap, and as Rope said, uh, Rope tried to jump up with him and follow him along a little of the way, but the fish went right over the fishing rods and the back of the boat and everything else, and they lost the fish. And that was a great heartbreaking thing, and the only reason we give him the Hero of the Day award, because we know he won't feel bad, they came back with that huge fish that in very, uh, very uh, good likelihood will win the tournament. So the Herx and Harry... Hero of the Day award to Rope Nelson. Now, by, uh, by any accident, Harry, we have a radio show tomorrow. Um, we probably will to bring you all the final standings, the official results. And at that time, uh, our our board here will have decided who is uh, indeed is going to uh, unseat Fred Gartley as the hero of the week. Right. Nobody will ever unseat him. It'll no, be that's right. Hey, so far, he is still the leading hero. This will of the just be the 1965. That's right. So. That's right. Replace him. Is that the word? Right. Succeed him. Succeed him. Would you believe? Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Sooner or later, we get something right. Well, Bob, I'd like to uh, thank Marty very much for being with us. It was a great pleasure to have a visitor from California and uh, a regular. Thank you very much, Marty. Appreciate it. Thank you, Marty. And I guess it's um, 
It's about that time, Just daughter. about that time for another one of those fantastic radio shows. From uh, sponsored by, in conjunction with the Kona Inn and Inner Island Resorts and the Royal Hawaiian Air Service, those magnificent men and their flying machines. So if you want to travel between the islands, any of the islands, call 259-775. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the Herx and Harry Show. I'm Herx. And I'm Harry. And it's cocktail hour. <laughs> Good night, everybody.